Hey everybody, Kyle here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Jet Set Radio Future. In the last part, we found Clutch, got all of our graffiti souls back, found out where Yo-Yo was being held, and then the bulk of the last part, uh, we spent tying up a lot of loose ends. Uh, the last thing that we did was we came here to the sewer, well, specifically the bottom point of the sewer, and uh, raced Cube and unlocked her. I'm not going to play as her yet. Uh, because, uh, I don't know. I want to uh, she's probably going to be the character I finish the game with because, um, she has a lot of health and I think she just has, like, standard, um, graffiti holding capabilities, so she's really going to, uh, be good for that final boss fight. Uh, but anyways, so the next thing we need to do is head to the fortified residential zone, which is, uh, what I'm right in front of ro right, right here, so... Uh, we're gonna head in there and, and hopefully rescue Yo-Yo. So here we go! Soon, when the timer runs out, this building will go kaboom! <laughs> Fools, you continue to cling to the sad notions of camaraderie and friendship. And because of it, your pitiful little lives will end in a grand display of fireworks. The Golden Rhinos have planted a time bomb somewhere in the fortified residential zone. First, spray the blue device and stop that timer. Okay, I don't even know what this place is supposed to be. It's like some kind of... Oh. Okay, you got it. Um... But yeah, I, I I guess it's supposed to be some kind of residential area, like it says. I guess the it's called. I mean, it's called the fortified residential zone. But like, if people live here, I don't even know. I don't even like. There's like some kind of big generator there in the middle. I just it just it just adds to that illusion that this is some kind of like dystopian future where stuff has just gone to shit. Uh. But anyways. Um, our goal here is to find all of these little generator things, or quote-unquote blue devices, even though, the, even though these aren't necessarily blue. Uh, but we need to find all of these things and spray them. And, uh, wait, actually, okay, yeah, um, I thought we did actually have to spray, spray one that was actually blue, but that's not the case. We just have to find all of these and spray them uh, in order to stop this timer and st stop the uh, the time bomb, I guess. So there are quite a few in this first area. This this air, the, the this uh, fortified resident residential zone is actually divided up into different sections. And uh, oh crap, there wasn't one up here. That's disappointing. Um, but yeah, we, we're basically going to be going through each of these uh, three layers and finding devices and spraying them, all with the goal of uh, finding Yo-Yo. Aw, oh, crap. Dang, that sucked. And the controller, of course, has to screw up. That's happened at least once in every part, and that just makes me feel all kinds of jolly inside. Um... But yeah, so this isn't really that hard. You can look on your map and find these points, or you can just follow where I'm going. Um, probably the hardest thing about this, honestly, is just uh, getting to some of these points. Uh, I mean, this, what I'm doing right here, this actually took me a little bit to figure out. Um, it, what? Okay, there's not one here either. I guess I should have looked at the map. Um, but basically, in order to get up to some of these, you have to grind the ladder and then uh, push A when you're, like, close enough to the next uh, railing. And then you just kind of gingerly fall off and uh, you'll land right on the railing. Um, it's kind of a complicated thing to figure out. Like I said, it took me a little bit of time. But once I had it all uh, figured out, it was... Uh, like second nature I guess to just do that um, so we'll have to do that I think a few more times as we progress through this area um, I believe 
that all of these... Um, okay. I don't know exactly where all of these are. I just, like, I'm just going to have to check the map. Um, but I think all the ones that we want to find for this area involve these ladders. Well, except for the ones that were actually on the bottom floor. Okay, there's another one. We have two more left. One is on the other side of this, it looks like. Um, so to get there, we're probably going to have to go this opposite way. Um, oh, we can... Oh. We could see out of the map. Nah. <laughs> this game and its weird uh, graphical glitches. Yeah, if we ride up here, that does nothing. Okay. What about if we go up here? That just takes us to that one. Okay. So... We know for... Okay, maybe these are the stairs? We know for a fact that there's one around this area. Okay. Or at least according to the map, there's one. Yeah, I kind of like that technique. It, it's kind of cool. But it's just a little annoying to... Uh, to figure out if you don't know how to actually do it. Uh, this next one is over this way. I kind of don't like that they set up those uh, gates there, but I think they did that so uh, you can't just jump from one area to the next. And that kind of makes sense, but at the same time. And this is, uh, I believe, the only time in the game you use this technique. Um, and I believe that Roboy will actually teach it to you. Um, you have somehow managed to deactivate all of the blue devices. How interesting. Let's see how well you fare a second time. <laughs> okay, uh, so then... Well, it seems oh. you stopped the blue device. Now find the red one and disarm it. Okay, so now we have to apparently find the red one, um, which is going to be on the next level. Okay, uh, this this controller, I'm going to have to retire it after this playthrough, meaning that I'm probably just going to either throw it away or find a place where it can just be laid to rest and never used again. Um, and I, I don't think I've actually explained what is wrong with it. Oh my gosh. I'm, like, stuck on these rails. Um, but basically, the back of it is, uh, broken. Like, it's it's basically, um, it doesn't stay together. I had to actually tape it to keep it together and to also, like, keep it on the back of the controller. So, this battery pack is messed up, and I figured, um, unless I can find a spare one from a different controller, um... The controller is pretty much useless. But I'm going to keep using it until the end of this playthrough because I don't know if I'll be playing any um, other Xbox games for a while, so I don't really see why I should waste the money buying a new one. Uh, but anyways, um, so we've made it to the next level. I don't believe that there's any um, on the bottom floor here. I think all of them are up here somewhere. Um, and actually... Yeah, there's a, I think there's a lot more here, which is kind of annoying. Um, you have to actually use this uh, rail right here to get to this part. Oh, I guess there's a device there. Um, but yeah, the bulk of these you're going to find by going over to this next area. So we jump right there. Actually, I may have be, been uh, wrong in what I just said. I think there's another area we can access from that area we were just at, um, but we'll get there. Um, there's also Golden Rhino guys here. Uh, you don't necessarily have to face them. Um, I don't think we... Or, or you don't have to actually kill or destroy them, I guess is what I mean to say. Um, we haven't encountered any of these guys yet, but um, basically after the noise tanks appear, or it might actually be after you defeat the noise tanks, uh, but these guys come around. And they replace the, uh, the Rokaku police. Um, which I guess is kind of, kind of a good thing and a bad thing all at the same time. Um, 
they're they're not really that hard to take down, but at the same time, they're not very easy. Um, whoops, get that out of there. Okay, so there's two more going this way that we need to get. Okay, but yeah, um, I don't think I actually have any trivia for these guys. Um, if I, oh yeah, I did. Okay. Um, basically, they're just, like, secret service agents for Rukaku. Um, they essentially do all of his dirty work. So that's the purpose that, um, these guys serve. And why they actually appeared at this point. Um. Okay, actually. Well, I'm here. I don't mean to stop talking about what I was talking about, but... There is a point here somewhere. Um, actually, it's more over this way. That is kind of annoying to get to. And I kind of forget how I got to it in the first place. Because if you look, it's right below where we're at now. Um, you can get over to the rail. No. Eh. I just want this point. Uh, one thing you can do, I suppose... Um, see, if you could just find it on, like, where it actually is on the map. Like, not not just looking on the map, but actually being able to see it. Um, it's basically underneath where all of these houses are. Um, I suppose one thing you can try to do, although I don't think this necessarily puts you close to it. Um, let's slow down there. Okay, you can kind of see it. Yeah, I think we got it. Yes. Okay. Alright. That was actually the one I was worried about the most, so I'm glad we got that taken care of. Um, okay, now that that's done... Um, so, let's see... Um, oh, 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 one thing I, meant, I forgot to mention, and uh, I, I don't even think I'll mention it in this part. Um... Because it, it's it's kind of an important thing, and I should have mentioned it um, in the part before the last part when, or it might have been in the last part. Whenever we went after Clutch, um, I don't think I mentioned that you don't have to defeat the uh, the Golden Rhinos right away because they they appear all over the map, and I don't think that defeating them actually does anything special. Um, and I did mention not immediately going after the graffiti points and going after clutch so uh okay never mind i said what i needed to say um about the whole going after clutch thing so i don't have to worry about even going back and uh mentioning that in the last part or what I, okay anyways now i'm just rambling on about nonsense <laughs> oh boy okay let's see what do we got here we still have two more points um, I believe we're at where the next level starts, so we need to go back down. Um, I don't really know how to get to these other points right away. Uh, oh, oh, probably. Oh, oh, is this going to work out? Oh, nice. Okay, I thought I had messed up, but it looks like everything was okay. Um, so we have one point that's over here. And the other is on the same uh, height level. Okay, it's over there, and to get there, we need to jump from this. Okay, we're on track. Everything is okay. Um, I'm probably going to keep going in this part until we find... Oh, I almost didn't make that jump. Until we find Yo-Yo. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Man, oh man, I was sweating wrecks over here. Now, go say yo yo. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no, yeah, whoa, whoa. Welp, that cutscene saved us from a uh, certain death. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, now we basically just need to get to yo yo. Um, and he is at the very top of this area. So, we have quite a climb ahead of us. Um, we're... Uh, 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 did, did we fall all the way down? 
Oh, we came pretty close. Um, okay. So, we're, we're on the second level. Or we're about to be as soon as I get back up there because I made a jumping mistake and fell back down to the first level. Um, but we just need to get back to the point where I was at, uh, where I mentioned that, um, we were at where the next level starts. And I don't exactly know how to get there, so I can't really explain it. So I guess we'll just have to see. That way you guys know. And this this area um, is unique in the fact that you only come here once. Like, you're only required to come here once. Uh, but after we, we find Yo-Yo here, um, you can basically come back here um, anytime you want. But there's really no points. Um... I mean, there's going to be graffiti points that show up here uh, eventually, but you don't you're, you don't have to spray them to actually progress the game. Uh, there are graffiti souls here, and there is a character that you'll unlock here by doing all the challenges. Um, but there's actually no other reason for us to come back here uh, for the main story um, after we leave here the first time. So not really um I, I mean i don't know i don't know how i feel about that this area isn't bad necessarily but it's not really good um it's it's kind of confusing it's one of those areas that you have to really get through once before you actually know how to do it um so speaking of getting through this area um the thing with this this third level is that oh please please oh i fell off crap Okay, let's try this again. Uh, but the thing about it, this area is that there's going to be these, like, platform puzzle things. And basically, you just have to follow wherever the spray cans are. So, okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, so they, they lead you on this trail, and they're going to tell you the platforms to fall onto. Um, this blue one here indicates that we need to jump. All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, th it was these were actually a little hard the first time I did them, but that's because uh, I didn't realize exactly what I had to do. Um, so here you need to jump, and okay, once we get there, we should stop. Um, I don't think we need to go to this next one. That doesn't seem right, but at the same time. Um, okay. Did I do it? Holy crap, I did. Okay. I thought for sure I was going to mess that one up. Um, one thing you can do, uh, if you want to save yourself a little bit of time, is that if you happen to fall all the way back down to the, uh, the first level, if you save here, you can just reload the game. Um, that's just kind of a cheap way to do it, but it works. But, I mean, ultimately, you're not really saving a great deal of time. Um, okay, this one, I'm pretty sure you just have to do by trial and error. Um, because there's no graffiti telling you where to go. But I'm pretty... Oh, poop. I would have had that if I had just fell into that thing straight. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That time I fell between the wall and that thing, but it still worked out. I'm not going to complain. Um, okay. Here's Yo-Yo. Heads up! You got golden rhinos incoming! I guess they didn't like you messing with the timers. Take them all out! Oh my gosh! Helicopters? Uh, drones? And now they got freaking, like, jets. Like, what the heck is this? And they're so easy to take down. I don't even know. Oh, we didn't get that one. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had defeated them both in, like, like 10 seconds. I was going to be really surprised. But, yeah, so stupid. Ugh, but anyways... Looks like we've rescued Yo-Yo, and things are good. <laughs> Yo!
Just Said Radio. Whether you're chilling on your couch or in your coffin, don't forget to tune us in to keep you company. The GG's finally found and rescued the real Yo-Yo. Uh, I, I think. He had heard a rumor on the streets about the golden rhinos and tried to find them by himself and ended up getting caught. Now I'm the star at the top of their black list because I gave you the lowdown on This is the first time I've been on top since, since the burping contest in elementary school. This time I've got nothing to say except it's time to get my running shoes on. And now... I hear some freak that looks a lot like B is showing his face all over Tokyo. Even for someone who likes to play a little dress up. Ain't that a bit weird? He's running around spraying some crazy graffiti. Does he have any connection to the Golden Rhino? If the Golden Rhinos were allowed to rock through the streets like this, Tokyo is done for. Somebody stop him. Okay, so it turns out that Yo-Yo was not the bad guy at all, and in fact, he was just trying to be a hero. Um, but yeah, we've rescued him, and now our goal is to take down the Golden Rhinos. And you know what, let's give him a little bit of revenge. We'll go ahead and play as Yo-Yo here for a little bit. Um, there's still one more character we're gonna unlock, and I'll play as him, uh, in a little bit. Uh, but for now, that's gonna be it. Um... So in the next part, we're going to go ahead and do what we need to do next in this game, which is take care of the Golden Rhinos. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time when we go take down the Golden Rhinos, like I've said like three times already. I'll see you guys then.